Hey, what's going on guys? Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. Um, this video was going to come out Monday, um, yesterday, but I wasn't able to get it uh, put out. I had a seizure over the weekend. As some of you guys know, I do have seizures. So uh, over the weekend, I was like really, really, I record these videos like the day before and then I post them up the next day. So that way I can make sure there's like no problems. Uh, I could not work on this Sunday, so I'm starting to work on it Monday, so it is coming out a little bit late, but um, other than that, you know, the title of this video says, Why Call of Duty Lost Its Fun Factor, and the reason why I came up with that title is, I was talking to a couple of people online, through Twitter, through Facebook, through many, many uh, social media outlets, and people were just saying that you know black ops 2 was the last good call of duty to have ever released and i agree with that it really was there was no microtransactions there was no battle pass there was no loot boxes there wasn't strict sbmm and unfortunately a lot of the reason why gaming or well gaming and as a general lost being fun is people started turning gaming into a business into a job rather than something they can escape the real world from something to relax and enjoy and what i mean by that is people and i am talking about content creators but i'm not saying like this is a bad thing when people turn streaming into a big meta and everything and everyone wants to be like a really big streamer like they want to be ninja they want to be all these other people right they start working and start treating gaming like it's a job like it's not an escape from the real world but necessarily something that they have to do to put food on the table because they get these followers and you know that's what they want to see you put out content and everything that you like. And I'm not saying like things bad. I mean, this is going towards me as well. So don't get me wrong. I'm taking my own advice. This is going up on me as well. But I think if we could just separate the two. And I'm not saying like separate it completely. Like, let's get rid of content creators. Let's get rid of streaming and everything. No. Let's just, you know, not focus about getting the best content out there. Let's not focus about being the best ninja out there. Let's just focus on being us. If we, as gamers, can just play a game, have fun with it, and if you upload a shitty gameplay, then you upload a shitty gameplay. I mean, I've done that. I have actually uploaded where I don't do good. I struggle to do good in this game, so y'all see whatever I get. I don't force myself to try to do good. I'm not going to push myself to be sweaty and try to get with all these other people who want to be the best at a game. Another thing that's run gaming is these corrupt businesses like Activision right now. Of course, you guys know I've covered about two videos over it right now. They're undergoing a lawsuit. Currently right now, uh, the top news about that is he CEO Bobby Kodak said that he would consider resigning if he couldn't quickly fix the culture around in the business uh, as it is right now. So, you know, do I believe he will? I don't believe he will. Um, I'm kind of hoping something happens and he gets forced to quit. And I also hope that, you know, a new board of directors gets elected too because I think they need to go as well. But, you know, this isn't about that. Having the corrupt organizations where these organizations want to cater to every little trend there is. You know, I said it before. Call of Duty used to be a trend setter. Now they're just trend following. They followed Fortnite and PUBG and all that with the Battle Royale. They followed... I don't know what brought about the loot boxes, but there are streamers opening up loot boxes and everything. So Black Ops 3 brought in loot boxes. They said, well, we don't want to be seen as the bad guys anymore, so we're bringing in the Battle Pass. And, of course, the Battle Pass was a ripoff from Fortnite and all the other, you know, free-to-play games out there. Trust me, Halo's done the Battle Pass as well. I'm not really too thrilled with the Battle Pass progression on there because that's how you level up in Halo. But over the weekend, I literally just, before I had a seizure, I should say, um, I was playing Halo Infinite, and I had... 
so much fun playing that game. It reminded me of what it was like to game how I used to when I was a kid. I missed that feeling. So I didn't play Call of Duty over the weekend. I may have played like one game of zombies or one two one two a game uh, one or two games of zombies with my friend, but it wasn't Vanguard zombies. It was Cold War zombies. And again, I went in with the mindset is I'm just gonna go and try to do this and have fun, and I did it. A lot of people are saying gaming isn't fun anymore, and to an extent. It's coming out to be that way, but the reason why is because of these organizations wanting to trend every little thing that shouldn't... Gaming should be individualism. And what I mean by that is, every individual game should have its own core elements. Let Fortnite keep the battle pass. Let whatever had the, the loot boxes keep the loot boxes. Call of Duty didn't have any of that until streamers put it up there and said, hey, I'm going to open all these up on bot on stream. Let's see if I get anything good. And they put a bunch of money into it and try to see if they can do it. And then they have people with a battle pass where they say, hey, I'm going to try to get to the last tier of the battle pass and everything. It doesn't make the game fun at that point. When you're being forced to play something all the time just to progress through it I mean what fun is that like who wants to sit there and say oh yeah I got this in the last battle pass season when I fully finished it out you missed out on something that looked pretty cool but the thing is if you would have taken time and just played that game all the time you would have gotten it you know I'm out of almost out of time because there's a whole minute of this thing but my whole concept is we need to try to get gaming into the way it used to be you know have each game have its own core elements get rid of the battle pass thing let whatever came up with the battle pass keep it call of duty doesn't need a battle pass they don't need the loot boxes and go into the games feeling Hey, if I upload a crappy gameplay, I upload a crappy gameplay. Who cares? You know, if you have one bad game and you, out of three good games, are you still having fun? I think once these loot boxes and battle passes all go away and people stop trying to be the best at everything, then maybe Call of Duty will be fun again. I'm out of time, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Peace.